Welcome to Straight Butter Dating and Relationship Talk. I'm Rodney Nigel Mayfield. Tonight's topic is, has Jada Pinkett and Will Smith lost their minds? Let's do it. Got a call on the line. Hello, caller. Welcome to the show. Welcome to Straight Butter Dating and Relationship Talk Show. What's your name and where are you calling from? I'm Sam, calling from South Carolina. Hey, what's up, Sam? How you doing tonight? I'm doing wonderful, man. Great. And, uh, thank you for having me, man. Uh, been trying to get in on this call. I know you got a hot topic going on. Uh, your show is buzzing down here in South Carolina, man. So I just want to let you know, man, I'm, I'm thankful to be on your call tonight. Hey, man, I appreciate you calling. Tonight's topic is Jada Pinkett and Will Smith. Had, well, the topic is, has Jada Pinkett and Will Smith lost their minds? What do you think about tonight's topic? Uh, it's a great topic uh, as far as uh, them losing their mind. Uh, I I, I, I I can come at it from different angles, man. It, this is a hot topic. Um, uh, I, I'm, I'm sort of feeling sorry for this young man, uh, and I call him a young man. Uh, we probably started around the same age, but um, um, <laughs> listen, uh, she has just emasculated her man. Um, they both are living a, a pretend life publicly. Um, and I really can't give you my honest opinion until I read the memoir, but as far as what's going on with them, uh, the rumors about them living an uh, open life, uh, open sex life, um, uh, he haven't had sex with his wife for over seven years. Well, uh, I don't know if that's just rumors. I don't really know. I just seen a clip or her on the uh, Today Show saying that her and Will Smith have been separated for seven years. So if they separated, I don't know if they still living in the same house. I don't know if they not living in the same house, man. All I know is she just telling her side of the story and it's not looking good. Okay, so uh, I heard it coming from her mouth that they have not been romantically involved, intimate, in seven years. You know, uh, being that they have a big mansion, I don't know if she's staying in one side of the house and he's in the other side of the house, but you're still married legally. I would think that the man would still want sex unless he's just completely turned off from her, but I don't think so. I think when I see him, I believe that he's still in love with her, but when I look in her eyes and look at her disposition every time she's out with him, it seems like she's just uh, putting on a facade just to uh play that role for hollywood you know but so so what do you think about her going on a worldwide tour uh in preparation for the launch of her memoir that's on october the 17 2023 okay well uh looking at it from my point of view man that's the only way she can make money uh is you know like you say they live in this big house um and I heard her say myself that, you know, hey, they separated. They not divorced, but they separated. So if they living in the same house, you know, uh, it, of course they own uh, opposite sides of the house. But um, the way I look at it is she don't want to get a divorce uh, because as long as she have the last name Smith, she's going to make money. So okay. therefore she's going to stay in that house and she's going to stay with Will. And as long as this man allows her to do what she's doing, why not keep doing it? He's allowing her to do it. Uh, I've never, I don't personally know a man that would stay with a woman a year and be married to her and not have uh, a sexual relationship. So I don't know if this man got some psychological problems going on. I don't know if he got some, um, 
you know, some some other issues, some many issues going on, man. It's, it's other rumors out there about Will Smith that I'm not going to put out because they just rumors. So um, I, I don't understand and I don't like it that she would uh, emasculate her man uh, by going around telling the whole world, making him seem like, you know, he's not aware uh, of what's going on. She makes it seem like, hey, they he seems to think they still in a relationship, but she's saying they're not in a relationship because not too long ago, just a year ago, he went and smacked another man and told this man to keep his wife name out of his mouth. So uh, this, this woman got some issues, man. Uh, she's an evil woman. Um, uh, I don't know how any man could put up with a woman like that. Do you feel she's a narcissist? Uh, well, that's that's such a strong word, uh, a strong term to use. Uh, I, do you think? Do you think she's manipulative? I I, I do think so. I, I I do. I do. But she's she's one of many women that's like that. But so are men. Yeah. But uh, of course. Yeah. But to call her a narcissist. I, I I'm not gonna go that far. This may be an off the wall question, but I'm gonna ask it anyway. Should Will Smith take on the last name of Jada, which is Pinkett, because she's treating him like she's the husband and he's the wife? Uh, well, <laughs> I mean, listen. I mean, because to me, man, I think she's little boying him in public. You know, she 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 she's embarrassing the guy and. Uh, he's actually quiet uh, behind the scenes, but something tells me that when they're one on one, mano a mano, I don't think he's so quiet. But I think he's trying to preserve his reputation, even though his reputation took a hit when he went on stage and slapped Chris Rock, a man that was 50 or 60 pounds lighter than he was, and tried to defend the honor of, of his wife. But his wife had says said that they have not been intimate in seven years. So even though you're legally married, I think he did that for uh, uh, that particular situation and to show Hollywood that, hey, I'm going to defend my wife. But the woman has said, man, that you guys are not getting down like that no more. I think she is staying in that marriage because she don't want to be the one to initiate the divorce. Because if she initiates the divorce, she's not gonna get as much money than if Will was to initiate the divorce. And perhaps she may be waiting for Will to, to croak. Who knows? You know, I mean, uh, I see a lot of evil in this woman and I really think she needs uh, psychiatric, psychiatric help and, uh, and, and needs to go to a psychologist uh, pretty regularly uh, in, in my estimation. So uh, to answer my question, should Will take on the last name of his wife? Should he be uh, Will, Will Pinkett? A <laughs> <laughs> uh, 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 good question. Uh, I would not go that far and say that he should do that. But uh, if we were sitting in the barber shop, of course we would get a good laugh and say that you know uh, he's the wife and she's the husband. But uh, I'm not gonna go that far and say that he should take on her last name. Okay. Now, um, um, yeah, this woman she's still there for the money and. Um, She's not going to initiate a divorce, but you saying that maybe she needs some psychiatric help. I don't think she needs psychiatric help. I mean, she wow. seems like she's in full control of what's going on. I think he's the one that needs psychiatric help. What man do you personally know that will stay in a relationship like that? What man do you know that will stay in the house with a woman for six months and not have a sexual relation? Uh, uh, with him? What man do you know that will stay with a woman that will constantly talk about her ex. How could you do that, man? You, I mean, you just, you just outright uh, emasculate your man, make him feel like he's nothing, make him feel like he's not a man, make you making him feel like he's not enough for you. No man that I personally know would stay in a relationship like that. Well, I, I so know it, he's the one that needs psychiatric help. Uh, I think both of them need uh, psychiatric help. Uh, they both need counseling and even the kids as well because they have some weird kids. I'm just going to be honest. Uh, uh, people who've seen their kids know that they're they're weird. And I think uh, as a whole, the family is weird. Uh, but they both need counseling in my estimation. So does, does it seem like Jada Pinkett Smith is out of control to you and Will has no way to rein her in? 
Uh, yeah, she's definitely out of control, and and, and he can't get her back, man. She's too far gone. Yeah. She's done told too much of the business, man. And uh, when the tell all come out, which is getting ready to come out, uh, she's gonna make her even look more of a fool than what he's looking like now. Uh, but like you said, going back to uh, Will needing help and and she needing help and the whole family need help. Yeah, all of them have some uh some issues going on. But I think that's a Hollywood thing, man. Uh, it's not just them. Uh, this this kind of crazy stuff goes on in Hollywood every day, man. Uh, men liking men, women liking women. Uh, the kids, the the boy kids want to be women, and the uh, the girl the girl kids are wanting to be men. So I don't, <laughs> it, it, it's just some crazy stuff going on out there in Hollywood, man. And maybe they just been in Hollywood for too long. Well, you know what? I want to revert back to. Uh, you said that you don't know anybody personally who would uh, be married to someone for six months and not have sex. I actually know a couple of people. Uh, somebody very close to me was married uh, and didn't have sex for years. But the thing is, you know, usually when that happens, one or both of them are having outside affairs. You know, uh, because uh, according to scripture, the Bible, the Bible says do not... Uh, withhold sex from your husband you see what i'm saying and vice versa and the husband shouldn't withhold sex from his wife because there are temptations that's going to come your way when you do that and so you can rest assured that will smith and jada uh, uh jada smith uh, are having extramarital affairs because they've already put it out that they were you know uh they actually put it out and and then came back uh sort of like we were just kidding but they weren't kidding uh they were uh, had, had an open marriage pretty much you know what I'm saying where she sees who she wants to see and he sees who uh, he wants to see and we already know because she already said that she had uh, a sexual affair with her son's best friend and so uh, that in itself would tell me that this woman uh, has some mental issues you know it sort of well, remind go ahead well, with that being said, uh, uh, I, I want to believe that uh, they both were in an open marriage. I mean, this has been this has been rumored for years, man. Yeah. But going just listening to an interview with her uh, on the Today Show, which was just a couple of days ago, maybe four days ago, she sort of made it clear that she wasn't in an open relationship. That people believed that she was in an open relationship she said that her and will has been separated since 2016 now i i i, I can almost assure you that you're going to say well uh they might have been separated but they was living in the same house and they still married so yeah uh, you're exactly still right. married and in the same house and you have a sexual relationship outside of the house that's an open marriage so uh, yeah uh, I, so I, I, I guess we can agree that uh, agree to disagree uh, because I'm just going off of what she said. She said that they, she wasn't in an open marriage and she said that they were separated. But at the end of the day, I guess if you uh, in the house and you still married, you are in an open relationship. Hey, Will may beg to differ that her story is a gross distortion of the truth. You know, wouldn't you think? Absolutely. But uh, listen, um, I, I seen an insert um, after I seen um, I seen Jada on a talk show, and uh, the uh, interviewer read a little bit of her memoir, and Will didn't have nothing but good to say about it. Mm -hmm. So uh, I, I, I I'm assuming, man, that you know he feels like he's the problem. And if he, wow. he said that if he knew she needed more hugs, that he would have gave her more hugs. So uh, it, mm, it, he's wow. the one with the issues, man. You know what, man? You know what, man? I'm going to tell you something. This is what it seems like to me for a seasoned man who has been to five different continents, 20 plus different countries. It seems to me that this guy is going to take the blame, even if he's not the blame, because he still loves her. But she is finished with him. I think she has been done with him for many years. I mean, you can see it in her actions and in her demeanor. Uh, this is for somebody who studies body language and can look and, and look at uh, 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 the way she she looks, 
And also in her expressions, I think this woman is done with him, but I don't think he wants to get rid of her. I really don't. Because Will Smith is a very handsome guy. I mean, he's a very attractive guy. Uh, he's very he's very handsome. He is a very handsome yeah. guy. But listen, man, this guy needs some help, man. Of he course. Needs some sight. He needs somebody to talk to him. Uh, not just a doctor. He needs good men in his life to come to him and rescue him and say, hey, listen, man, you don't deserve this. Not only do you not deserve this, man, you 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 need to get far away from her as possible, man. This woman is going around. She's going to tell the whole world, you know, what's been going on in your life behind closed doors and make you look like the villain. You know and what? So stuff might come out that you don't want people to know about. They don't need money because if I'm not mistaken, I think Will Smith is worth about four hundred million dollars. So they don't need money uh, now. Uh, Sam, if you were married to a woman, I don't know if you've ever been married before or not. Have you been married, Sam? I have. Okay. Uh, does anything uh, that Jada Pinkett Smith is doing right now remind you of your marriage that you uh, you were in in the past? No. Uh, no, I've never experienced anything like that uh, with a woman. I okay. have not. Okay. Now, would you accept that behavior? Absolutely not. Not having regular sex? Absolutely not. What would be your course of action? Divorce. Uh, how long would immediately? You, immediately. Immediately. And and so uh, you go before the judge and you tell the judge irreconcilable differences. Would you uh, categorize categorize it uh, under that uh, preface? Absolutely, because I'm a man that likes sex. I'm okay. a man that loves sex. All I'm right. a man that loves to be intimate with a woman. Okay. So uh, when I say intimate, I mean intimate. I want to hug, kiss, touch, all of that. Uh, yeah, I, I want to do all the above, and I don't want to just do it uh, once, once a month, man. If I'm with a woman and I'm laying beside a woman, I want to be intimate with the woman. Makes sense. So, uh, so, so if, if, if I'm if I'm married, then listen. If I'm going two months, with one second. Do something wrong. Hold, hold on, one second, uh, Sam. Hello, Carl. Welcome to the show. Hello. Hello. Welcome to the Straight Butter Dating and Relationship Talk Show. Let me uh, merge these calls. Hello, uh, Sam. Yes. Uh, now, Carly, Carly, you just called in from Pennsylvania. What's your name? My name is Don. Don. How you doing, Don? Welcome to the show. We have uh, Sam from South Carolina on the line. So, uh, I'm going to continue this uh, interview, and I'm going to ask questions. And so when Sam is talking, don't overtalk Sam. When I'm talking, don't overtalk me. And Sam, when uh, Don uh, from Pennsylvania is call, uh, is uh, speaking, don't interrupt him. Let's uh, be uh, respectful of one another so we can get uh, uh, have a good show. All right? And, uh, Absolutely. How you, how you doing, Don? What's up, Sam? How you doing, man? All right. Well... Tonight's topic is, has Jada Pinkett Smith and Will Smith lost their minds? Uh, and we've already uh, been going for about 18 minutes, Don. Uh, what do you think about tonight's topic? Well, first and foremost, you know, to, to answer your question, uh, in, in, the, in the sense of the world, yeah, I mean... I would say that they're right on course or right on par for what's acceptable in this world that that's going on, particularly the celebrity culture. Okay. But if we're going to, if we're talking about from a biblical perspective, then yeah, they've definitely lost their minds and they've lost their way, and they have for quite some time. And I think that their example of marriage is pathetic. I think it's ungodly. I think it's unbiblical, and I think they've always been an extremely poor excuse of what marriage is supposed to be. Well, I, and I agree. Uh, so, so Don, why do you think so many people, not only black people, but white people and, and others uh, uh, of other ethnicities, l look up to the uh, Will and Jada Smith for such a long time? But now it seems like uh, after the slap, it seems like he's losing a lot of uh, fans, especially black fans. I think he's probably still maintaining uh, most of his white fans, but, you know. Uh, he didn't slap a white man or a white woman on stage. He slapped a black man. So why do you think people looked up to them 
uh, for such a long time? Do you think it's because they thought that they were the ideal couple and we want to mimic them until all of this stuff just uh, hit the fan, the S hit the fan? Well, absolutely, because a lot of stuff that was going on in their marriage, we now, we're just now finding out. I mean, we really, they're open, she's letting things fly. And it all started with the, uh, the young man, I forgot, the R&B singer. Uh, I'm not sure what his name was. When he came, when she came out, her and Will came out, and that young man came out first and foremost and admitted that she, he was uh, in a relationship with uh, Jada. And then she came out, and Will came out, and they called her an entanglement. I mean, from that on, it was pretty. It was pretty much uh, a roller coaster heading downhill for him for them after that. Yeah, yeah. Sam, what do you think? Uh, yeah, the the singer that uh, Don is talking about is August Alcina. Uh, but listen, uh, let's 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 go back a little bit. Uh, man, this it's been rumored. Uh, Will Smith and Jada. It's been rumored that. This stuff, kind of stuff has been going on for years, man. Uh, this this is nothing new. And like Don said, uh, this is the culture out in Hollywood that the Hollywood puts out on the television. And because television tells us the vision, uh, today's society thinks that it's normal. So um, this is just, it's normal to a lot of people. Uh, a lot of people would probably, some people would call in and be like, hey, listen, it's, it's normal. It's okay for uh, uh, me to have more than one wife. It's okay for me to have more than one husband. It's okay for me to be married and have uh, a, a, a side chick or to have a, a relationship outside of my house. This is what Hollywood puts out. And uh, this has been going on for so long. So uh, this entanglement, uh, that's just something that uh, 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 the the media put out that's just something that jada uh uh tried to justify on the red table talk but hey man in this day in this day and time in this society man uh they don't call it an entanglement they just call it normalcy did you did any one of you guys uh don or sam uh hear what stephen a smith had to say on his podcast about jada pinkett smith he is going in on her uh, something fierce and he should he has every right to man because I think that Jada as fine as she is I think she has lost a lot of men fans uh, now uh, I posted uh, something on my Facebook page yesterday uh, about Jada uh, Pinkett Smith being a messy woman and I had a couple of uh, yeah she's a messy woman she's a hot mess man and I had I had I had two women uh, uh two black women uh wanted to tear into me right and 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 I never mentioned anything about color I just said she was a messy woman and so the first thing you have women who are uh, who have insecurity problems when a black man say anything about a black woman they have to always say why black folks always like to criticize one another if a black person is wrong i don't care if you're a man or woman i don't care if you're in hollywood then you're wrong bottom line i'm not going to defend you uh and when jada pickett smith and will smith airs their business in public then they are a prime a prime target for public ridicule uh do you guys agree or disagree what 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 uh, I, I, I'm, I'm not going to say Will is the one that's airing they, they, they dirty laundry and uh, I did not get to see the Stephen A but if it reached Stephen A I can tell you now the whole world knows it and uh, you can't be mad because she put it out there so once you put it out there and you got other celebrities starting to uh, comment on it um, you know it's nothing you can say about it so if, if Stephen A is putting it out there, the whole sports world knows about it. So, uh, hey, hey, it's not it's not Will. It's Jada, the one that's putting the dirty laundry out there. Well, let me let me uh, play some of the footage of what uh, Stephen A. Smith said on his show. Okay. As my man Joe Madison says, I'm gonna I'm gonna put it where the goats can get it. Jada Pinkett Smith, that's fucked up. Seriously. Because every time you do that, it instills a level of fear in men that makes them think, what if my woman does that? What if I get married and my wife turns on me and she does that? 
I've watched Red Table Talk on many occasions for years. You've empowered women. You've inspired women. You've talked about deep subjects that were, contrib that were a contributing force to women that helped make them better and make us better as men because it gave us a greater understanding of what you women go through. You're throwing all of that away because all we see now is a woman who seems hell-bent on sabotaging, excoriating, and emasculating her man while she's making money off of it. Okay, so what do you what do you think about what Stephen A said about Jada? You know, I agree with him, and I think really what what uh, Stephen A was saying was it's like it's it's enough. You know, you're doing too much. And uh, I, I agree with that. I mean, she's been on, look, look, she's not been on the Today Show. Uh, she done been on, now she's on Cover People Magazine. Uh, she was on uh, Showtime. She was on the show with Stephen A, oh, not Stephen A, Stephen Jackson and Matt Barnes. Yeah. Uh, what's the show called? All the Smoke, which is a sports show about basketball. I'm still trying to figure out what in the world was she on that show for? They probably want to hit that. The world? They, huh? they probably want to hit that. Well, Well, listen, uh, you say they're supposed to be married men. She's supposed to be a married woman, okay? And and, and, and what, she's hold on now. a good... <laughs> Let me throw this in. That's what she say. And, and I, believe, I don't know if it was either in that Today interview or the... Um, let me say a few things. First and foremost, in her book she wrote, she said that Will was a, a serial a, a serial cheater that he, he had been committing adultery with other women of That's course I, I believe that i believe That's that first thing. second thing is she said they've been separated since 2016. okay seven years so my question is what made her wait until now to to bring this all out to the open i don't know man uh money I mean, she she's wealthy. Will is wealthy, but his money is her money because you know if they get divorced, she's gonna get half of the money. I think that's why Will hasn't divorced her yet. Uh, but I, I think that she probably got a a, a, a big amount of uh, upfront money uh, to release that book, and you know that YouTubers like myself are gonna push that are gonna push that storyline, and it's gonna make her book sell even more. I'm not going to read it. I don't want to hear about that crap. I don't want to know nothing about her and Will Smith, Dirty Draw uh, Secrets, personally. Well, well I, I think from Jada's perspective is she's tired of being second fiddle. Exactly. She's tired She's tired of being back. She's tired of like being in Will Smith's shadow. Exactly. And I the agree. sad part is the only way she can get out into the, the forefront, the only way that uh, Jada can put herself on front is by doing outlandish and saying outlandish things, and it's really pathetic. And you know that sells. hundred uh, percent. That sells books. That that has uh, YouTubers like myself uh, making YouTube videos, and and so basically, in essence, uh, she's becoming more popular by us talking about her. But I'm not doing this video uh, to try to promote her book uh, because, like I said, I'm not gonna buy it. I don't want to hear it. I can care less what they what what they've done. Uh, because she's put it out already on uh, on the Red Table Talk show that she used to have. And I think Will was on there too, looking all stupid like a uh, scalded dog with his tail between his legs. Uh, just like uh, like like I said uh, in a video I made yesterday on YouTube, she's little boy him in public. You know, and he's doing nothing and not saying nothing. Yeah, I'm okay with it, baby. Just go and do what you want to do. But I still love you. Okay. So, Sam... What do you think about Jada Pinkett Smith said that Tupac was her soulmate? Do you think Tupac, I think he passed at 25 years of age. Do you think Tupac would have stayed with Jada in a relationship? When you know how young men, uh, wait, hold on. When you know how young men in their 20s are as it relates to being sexually promiscuous? Absolutely, Tupac would not have stayed with her. But as far as Tupac being her soulmate, uh, I can, I can, I would say that's a fair enough statement. Um, I think she really believed that, and uh, I, you know, um, and I think she really loved Tupac, and she couldn't let him go. She couldn't forget about him, and and 
and maybe Tupac, Tupac played a uh, major role in some of the things that went on in their relationship because, you know, uh, it just affected her in a way to where she just couldn't uh, let it go. You know, uh, she loved the guy and he died a week before her birthday and they had some issues right before he passed. They, they wasn't on speaking terms and it affected her and she just, hey, it, it got up to her. So uh, as far as um, them being together and at that time and this stuff kind of stuff was going on, Tupac definitely would not have stayed with her. No one they probably wouldn't stay with her after a week <laughs> of no sex. Well, you know, she was probably in her prime then, uh, being young and probably want to have sex all the time. But, you know, she's in her 50s now. And when women get older, they have hormone issues. They go through menopause. They have uh, mood swings and everything else. So she could be going through that phase of, of her life. Because uh, I know somebody personally, that wife. Well, maybe, maybe that's why Will Smith was out having sex with other women. Uh, maybe maybe she was having some hormonal issues. Uh, well, I mean, he's been doing that as as Don says for quite a while, for many years. But and you know, men don't have to. Uh, a woman don't have to have hormone issues when you get accustomed to one particular woman. Men like to like to roam. We 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 like to roam and, and drop our load uh, wherever we can when we meet new people, especially when when our name is Will Smith. And we have hundreds of millions of dollars. And so wherever we go, we know women are going to drop it like it's hot. You already know that. You've been a teenager well, before. You've been 20 years old before. A absolutely. But they're not teenagers anymore. And seven years ago, uh, 10 years ago, or 15 years ago, they were not teenagers. At this stage of our life, man, uh, we we all know, we, we three men on here, we all can identify what love is. When you truly love somebody, you know they they are the one and you gonna be with that person and 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 you're not gonna you're not gonna look outside when you truly love somebody well uh uh don what do you think about this statement that uh sam just made when you truly love someone you're not going to step outside so that means that if you truly love somebody you can't fall short of the glory of god and sin and mess up but then come and repent to your wife or your husband because you did wrong. So I don't agree with that statement because if that's the case, then uh, anybody that say they love somebody would never, ever mess up. You know, you have a lot of uh, uh, temptations out there pulling at you constantly, constantly. And you say, well, I love my wife. I can't go out. I can't go out like that. Ah, but well, come on, baby. Come on, baby. And eventually you're going to fall. Every man don't fall, but most men do. So, Dunk, do you think what Sam just said is 100% foolproof? Oh, unfortunately, it's definitely not. I wish it were. Um, you know, I think that just as you just stated, that we all are all fall short, because none of us are perfect. And, but here's what I will say. I will say that, uh, you know, obviously to be perfect is the goal. You of know, course. Your marriage, faithful, that's obviously the goal. Of course. But we all know that that's, you know, uh, for a lot of us, probably not, you know, in a lot of ways possible, you know, or like we, you know, because even when you think about it, even if to look upon another, we've been talking in the sense of biblical now. Of course. To look upon another woman or a man, if you're a woman in a relationship, you know, and to desire them is considered adultery in a sense. So, you know, even to look at somebody, a woman, and to say, man, I, mm, you know, have that thought in your mind. Because you done already went there in your mind. Yeah. That's where it starts off at. Of course. Okay? Every you know, and, and for women and men, it, it starts in the mind. But now what I'm saying is, this is just my thought, you can commit a sin. But I'm reading this book now by Tony Evans called U-Turns, and it talks about basically that the only way you can make a U-turn in your life is to pretend. So what I'm saying is, and what he says in the book is true, you know, we can all sin and we can all make mistakes, but here's the reality that we all got to understand is that there's a consequence to your sin. Exactly. Forgiveness is possible for all of us, but the reality is no matter how much you sin, yes, there's forgiveness for all of your sins, but there's also a consequence. Exactly. And Will and Jada are living out their consequences in front of the whole world. Exactly. Uh, 
and to piggyback on what you said the bible says if a man or a woman looks at a man or woman with lust in his or her heart they have already committed sin in their heart and as we know those who study scripture is that every sin first emanates from within the heart because the bible says out of the abundance of the heart the mouth speaks out of the heart flows the issues of life and so whether you do it do the physical act or you commit the act in your mind god looks at it as the same you've already committed sin so both of the acts still require repentance now what is the title of that book that you said uh, uh dr tony evans which is my favorite pastor uh out of dallas what's the title of that book u-turns u-turns all right folks u-turns yes. u-turns uh dr tony evans a uh, great biblical teacher uh out of dallas texas Sam, what three yeah. words would you use to summarize Jada Pinkett Smith? Uh, I don't know. I can just come up with three words. I'm just going to say she's a lost person. She's lost. Um, she, she's sad. Uh, maybe evil. Okay. Wow. Lost, sad, and maybe evil. So lost, sad, and evil. Uh, Dunn from Pennsylvania. What three words would you use to summarize uh, Jada Pinkett Smith? Well, the first thing, she's definitely been misguided. She's definitely misguided. Um, I also feel like she's lost. I think I lost is actually a very good way to describe her. And then three, I'm upset. Thirsty. And she's thirsty for a lot of things, man. She's thirsty. I got think she's thirsty for attention. And I think she's thirsty for a real man in her in her life. Because obviously, you know, we've been bashing her pretty good. But I, I mean, the other side of that is Will Smith has shown that as a husband, he has fell, fallen incredibly short. Okay, well, well, I think she has fallen incredibly short also because I don't think that everything she's saying that everything is Will's fault. It, it, that's, that's her side of the story. You know, uh, if he came out with his side of the story, then I guess uh, we as the, 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 the jurors would have to decide what we believe. But in my estimation, when you have this kind of uh, uh, confusion uh, and ambiguity in a marriage, something is going on with both of them. Now, what three words would you use to, su uh, to summarize Will Smith? Any one of you guys first? Well, let me take that one. Uh, let, me, let me go first. Uh, for Will Smith, and this is going back to the slap. Okay. And uh, I think the first word to describe Will would be inadequate. I think that, you know, him slapping and Chris Rock, him being in, continuing to stay in this relationship with Jada, sorry, is inadequate on his part. Okay. Uh, second word I would I would describe Will as weak. Okay. And then uh, a third word that I would describe uh, Will as shameful. Okay. Uh, Sam, what three words would you use to summarize Will Smith? One word. One word. He's he's a weak man. Very weak man. I could use the word simple man. You know, we call guys like that simps. <laughs> uh, he, 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 he <laughs> don't mean to be funny, but he, I, you know, no man, like I said, no man I know, no man I know would ever put up or tolerate any kind of behavior like that from his wife. Nobody, so, in, your fa nobody yeah, in your family. Nobody, nobody, nobody in my family, none of my friends, nobody. Okay. Period. Weak. Well, and, uh, Don seems to be very educated, and he talks very educated. And those three, uh, 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 those three analogies that he came up with, um, was uh, right on point. I agree with him 100. percent Well, I, I like to say this uh, in, in closing uh, uh, on the Straight Butter Dating and Relationship Talk Show. Uh, we talk about dating and relationship uh, talk. Uh, comparing God's way versus the world's way and of course God is not pleased with the type of relationship uh, the type of marriage that Will and Jada uh, are in 
uh, they both have admitted to having uh, outside affairs. So God is not pleased that both of them are uh, living uh, adulterous uh, relationships, uh, living in adultery, uh, shall I say. And God is not pleased with that. I don't care what Hollywood says. God's word uh, is the standard by which all truth is measured. So, uh, But they both need Jesus Christ. They both need to first repent of their sins, uh, confess with their mouth, and believe in their hearts on Jesus Christ, and uh, believe that until the day they die. And I know that it's difficult to do that when you're in Hollywood because Hollywood wants you to believe the complete opposite. But the thing is, my, my, my thing is on this show is like, who do I want to please, the world or God? I'd rather please God and displease the world. And so Don from Pennsylvania, Sam from South Carolina, thank you guys for calling into the show. And uh, feel free to call in again. Now, uh, Sam, do you have a business that you're trying to promote uh, a market? Because if you do, you can uh, talk about it uh, in these last few minutes of the show. I I, I don't. And uh, thank you for asking, though. But I, I, at this time, I don't. All right. Well, Don from Pennsylvania, do you have a, a talk show, a YouTube channel, a, a, a business that... You're trying to uh, get more subscribers uh, that you want to uh, pitch right quick? Oh, yeah, thank you. Thank you, Rodney. Yes, uh, I have a uh, talk show along with uh, my partner named Mike Hicks. And okay. uh, we have a show that's called The Underway Podcast. And you can find us on YouTube uh, at 32nd Street Studios. So tap into us or tune in. And you can also find us on Spotify uh, at The Underway Podcast. So thank you for allowing me to promote that. Hey, you're welcome. The Underway Podcast, folks. So uh, let's get those subscribers up and let's get those views and likes up. And uh, once again, I'd like to thank you gentlemen for calling into the show. God bless you. All right. Peace, thank brother. You. All right. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you.